Ladies and gentlemen, from the fine city of Norwich, we present Miss Anglia 1980. And now, a warm welcome, please, for your host tonight, Fred Dynage. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. A very warm welcome to the final of Miss Anglia 1980. 36 beauties bidding for that title, bidding for a first prize of £1,000 in cash, and a year's contract with Anglia Television. Now, during that year, the winner tonight will travel all over the Anglia area, really representing the company, being a sort of ambassador, or perhaps the word is ambassadress. So, very important that our judges tonight choose a girl who's not only very attractive, but also has lots of charm and personality and character and all that sort of thing as well. Well, one girl who's got all of those qualities is last year's winner of the competition, Heidi LaShelder. Seen here, beautifully painted by Peter Dean, the artist, who again will produce a portrait of this year's winner as part of her prize. Well, we've seen the uh, painted Heidi. Let's now meet the real Heidi. Welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen, last year's winner, Heidi LaShelder. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to see you again. Thank you. That's quite an amazing dress. It must uh, be a fair job walking in that, I would think. It? Just a bit. Listen, they tell me you've been a wonderful Miss Anglia, quite yes. seriously. Have you enjoyed the year? It's been tremendous. Really What's lovely. been the best part about it? Uh, the people, I think. They've been super to me, really nice. And what about the future? Hopefully I'd like to stay in TV, which I should find out in a week or two. Hopefully. Good. We wish you well in the future. And talking of the future, we'll see you later on, of course, for the crowning ceremony. Definitely. See you then, ladies and gentlemen, Heidi LaShelder. <laughs> Right, there is um, another lady I'd like you to meet, a very lovely lady too, a very important lady because she's co-hosting tonight's show with me. Welcome please, if you will, Christine Weber. <laughs> Quite an introduction, isn't it? I know you wrote that specially for me. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> it's the first time we've worked together. It is. I hope it's going to go well. Well, I hope, I hope we're going to work together lots. Sort oh, of like so. um, George Burns and Gracie Allen all over again or oh, something. Oh, smash it. <laughs> and tonight you're going to be telling us about all the contestants. I am, all 36. And they're also smashing. The only trouble is I want them all to win. I know. And we start with? <laughs> well, we start uh, with uh, seeing all 36 in day clothes. And you're going to do that right away? Right away. Off you go. Yes. Grab you a microphone. Right. Christine Webber, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so then... On with the first 18 of our 36 finalists in the daywear section. Introducing them now, Christine Weber. Here we go. And number one is Cherry Ingram from Falden in West Norfolk. She's 22, is 5 foot 8 inches tall, and her measurements are 34, 24, 36. Cherry works as an upholsterist, although she also has a diploma in modelling. 
Cecilia Moth, our number two, hails from Peterborough. She's 18, is 5 foot 5 and has hazel eyes. She's a very brainy lady with nine O-levels and two A-levels. And she's a musician. She plays the flute, clarinet, saxophone and piano. Huntingdon is home ground for Debbie Richardson. She's 18 and measures 35, 22, 34. She has lots of hobbies, including photography, swimming, skating, and walking the dog. And she was born under the star sign Virgo. Sharon Gray didn't have to come very far tonight. She lives in Norwich. She's 19 and works as a barrister's clerk. And her favorite food, although you wouldn't believe it to look at her, is jam roly-poly. Sharon would like to travel, and she'd like to visit Miami. Number five is Gillian Tyso from Offord Darcy in Cambridgeshire. She's 25 and is a state registered nurse. Her hobbies are riding and home decorating and her favorite foods are Chinese or other meat-free foreign dishes. She'd like to be happy. Annabelle Keatley is from Wisbeach. She's 25 and her statistics are 34, 24 and a half, 35. She works as a beauty therapist. It's no wonder she looks so fit as she numbers squash and yoga amongst her hobbies. Tracy Lewis comes all the way from Benfleet in Essex. She is 17, is a model and says that one of her hobbies is trying to get more work. Her favourite television programmes are Mork and Mindy and Happy Days. Cheryl Mayhew, our number eight, is a Northampton girl. She's 19 and works as a sales representative. She likes rug making, playing the guitar and banger racing. And Cheryl is qualified as a croupier. Nineteen-year-old Barbara Gillespie comes from Ipswich. She is five foot seven inches tall and measures 36, 24, 37. She's very active with hobbies like ice skating, horse riding and disco dancing. And her ambition is to travel while she's young. Braintree in Essex is home for Judy Fawcett. Her measurements are 35, 23, 35. She's 5 foot 4 inches tall and is 18 years old. Her hobbies include driving, looking after her dog and cookery. Our number 11 is Valerie Johnson from Bedford. She is 18 and is 5 foot 7 and 3 quarter inches tall. She has one brother and apart from having successfully taken seven O-levels, she's also passed examinations in ballet and the trumpet. Leslie Hubber is another girl who's had a long journey tonight. She comes from Dunstable. Leslie is 21 and works as a telephonist receptionist. She likes keeping fit and her ambition is to pass her driving test in April. Perhaps number 13 will prove to be a lucky number for Pauline Old of Berry St Edmunds. She's 19, has chestnut hair and is 5 foot 5. Pauline works as a hairstylist. She was born under the star sign Sagittarius and she has three brothers. Janet Oakley from Stevenage is a dancer and actress. She's 21, is 5 foot 5 and her statistics are 34, 23, 34. She enjoys photography and golf, and her favorite food is curry. Number 15 is Susan Shaw from Saffron Walden. She's 24 and is some lucky man's personal secretary. Her hobbies include ballroom dancing and horse riding, and she has very expensive tastes in food. She likes pheasant, fillet steak, and crab. Sharon Johnson comes from Spalding. She's a blonde and measures 34, 24, 34. Her hobbies include watching Robin's Nest, collecting postcards and entering beauty competitions. And she'd like to own her own fashion boutique. Nineteen-year-old Joy Taylor comes from Daventry. She's a model, is five foot six and measures 36, 22, 34. Her star sign is Aquarius, and the programs that keep her glued to the television are cartoons.
June Abbey is another Norwich girl. She is 24 and is 5 foot 9 inches tall. June works as a merchandiser for a paint company. She likes reading and going to the cinema. And she says her highest qualification is that she has loads of common sense. The first 18 then of our 36 finalists in Miss Anglia 1980 and the second 18 will meet in just a few minutes. I want to tell you at this stage, our judges have in fact spoken and met all of the girls, spoken with and met all of the girls, so they could get some idea of each girl's personality, etc. Talking of the judges, let me now introduce them to you. Our first judge is a man who knows a pretty face when he sees one, and well he might, because he's the picture editor of the Daily Express. Welcome please, Andrew Harvey. Our next judge is a very lovely lady. You'll see her soon in Anglia's thriller series, Tales of the Unexpected. And talking of thrillers, it really is a great thrill to welcome Judy Geeson. <laughs> Co-starring with Judy in that particular Tale of the Unexpected, and it's called Poison, will be our next judge. He really is a man of many, many parts. Welcome Andrew Ray. Do you recall that uh, recent TV series, Secret Army? And do you remember that uh, very lovely Belgian agent? I'm sure you do. I'll let you into a secret. She's with us tonight, Juliet Hammond-Hill. <laughs> and finally, the chairman of our judges, a man with a very definite eye for figures, but only of the mathematical kind, of course, Anglia's controller of programmes, Philip Garner. Those are the judges on now with the girls, the last 18 in the daywear section. Commentary again now from Christine. Here we go. Eileen Tyres, our number 19, comes from Bedford and she measures 34, 23, 34. Her star sign is Aries and she works as a sales promoter and her hobbies include roller skating. Andy Burgess comes from St. Osith in Essex. She has ash blonde hair, is 18 years old and is 5 foot 3 and a half inches tall. Mandy would like to travel the world and top of her list if she manages it would be Hawaii. Twenty-four-year-old Carol Stone comes from Milton Keynes. She works as a computer operator and is keen on swimming, dancing, squash and collecting miniature drinks. She was born under the star sign Aries and her favourite food is curry. Number 22 is Erica Butterworth. She hails from Leon C and measures 35, 24, 36. Erica's favourite programme on television is The Professionals, and her ambition is to own a Rolls Royce. Carol Barnes comes from Cranfield. She's 18, 5 foot 8 and a half inches tall and has brown hair. Carol's a student at the moment and lists dancing and fencing amongst her hobbies. She'd like to work in journalism or public relations. Jane Dunnett is an Ipswich girl. She's one of our tallest contestants at 5 foot 10 and a half, and she's 20 years old. Jane works as a travel courier. She has a twin sister, two other sisters, and a brother. Newmarket is home for Sue Langley. She's 19 and measures 35, 25, 35. She has a hair-raising hobby. She rides in motorcycle scrambles. But on a quieter note, she also likes writing poetry and songs. Catherine Blythe was born in Bermuda, but now she lives in Northampton. She's 5 foot 5 and is training to be a psychiatric nurse. Her hobbies include water skiing and fashion modelling, and her favourite television programme is Charlie's Angels. Number 27 is Susan Ginger from Berkhamsted in Hertfordshire. She's 17 and measures 36, 24, 36. Susan's a student who likes nature trekking and history, and she'd like to run her own health and beauty salon.
18-year-old Jean Hoare is from Dover Court. She works as a liaison clerk and invoice typist. She has a host of hobbies which include drama, dancing and reading. And the person she'd most like to meet is John Cleese. Julie Seymour, number 29, is a Chelmsford girl. She has a perfect hourglass figure measuring 36, 23, 36. Julie works as a receptionist and enjoys driving, disco dancing, jogging and modelling. Pauline Broughton from Colchester is 18 and measures 34, 22, 34. Her star sign is Cancer and she enjoys dancing, travelling and designing clothes. And her favourite food is peanut butter and toast. Bedford certainly has its fair share of beauties. Here's another, Pamela Halsey. She's 24 and is a draftswoman. As a Bedford girl, she has a very appropriate hobby, lace making. She also enjoys swimming and traveling. Melanie Sunshine is an apprentice hairstylist from Stowmarket. She's five foot five and her vital statistics are 36, 24, 36. She likes Indian and Italian food and would like to visit America. Lavinia Bailey from Luton is number 33. She's 20, has blonde hair and works as an artist's assistant. She enjoys accordion playing, dancing, singing, fishing and eating prawn cocktails. Eighteen-year-old Madeline Vale comes from Hawkwell in Essex. She freelances both as a model and as a caterer. Her favourite food is her mum's creme brulee and she'd very much like to visit the West Indies. Diane Hughes from Newmarket is a housewife. She's 24, 5 foot 5 inches tall and measures 34, 24, 36. Goat husbandry is one of her hobbies and crossword puzzles another. And Diane would like to meet Dustin Hoffman. And our last contestant is from Norwich, Colleen Gorman. She's a window dresser who enjoys yoga, judo, reading, crosswords and drawing. Colleen has an ambition. It is quite simply to be a success in everything she does. So those then are our 36 finalists in Miss Anglia 1980. The judges have now to shorten those 36 down to just 12 girls to move on to the next stage of the competition. That's still to come. So too is the music of Vince Hill, Guys and Dolls and the Peter Fenn Orchestra. All that and more coming your way in just a couple of minutes from now.